Hello, welcome to the next edition of the Wednesday Special. Today, we're going to be trying out Abzan Midrange through a league today. We'll see how that actually works out. I think this deck actually has some serious legs um, in the current format. And we are definitely leveraging the best aspects of Siege Rhino over something like Shieldred. Uh, I think the only way it makes sense logically is if you manage to build your deck in a way that Jengatha works out. Because if you get an extra 5-5 out of the deal... It's definitely could be a better approach, right? If you're not playing Jengatha, then you have less, you know, room for error there. So, like, playing Seed Run over a Shield Red at that point seems a little weird. Unless you did, like, a uh, three Shield Red, four Seed Rhino type thing. But, so, that's what the plan is. So, I'm super excited about trying the list out. Just due to the pure nature that I love Abzan mid-range. And it's my favorite mid-range. All the other ones, I'm not a huge fan of. I'm not really a fan of Mandrange in general, but when I play this, I'm happy because uh, Siege Rhino is fun and it makes me happy. If you like this kind of content, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you'll be for future videos. Let's get to 1,000 subs together and let's get into the deck list and see the deck in action. So the deck list that I'm trying out is... Has one shadow, four dread knights, which I think is one of the best aspects of this deck now. Uh, it is grindy. It gets a lot of card advantage. We can, um, you know, constantly throw it into combat. It's three power, so it works quite well at bank buster. And uh, we have Glissa, which is just one of the better reasons to be Golgari. Voice of Resurgence helps us against the control matchup. We have Siege Rhino as, uh, of course, the best four drop. Don't at me in the comments. <laughs> Four Thoughts Ease because it's the best black card. Actually, the best card in Pioneer. Four Fatal Pushes because it's the second bla best black card in Pioneer. Uh, three Abrupt Decay because it's just a good removal spell. Four Vanishing Versus because it is one of the best removal spells. Two Advan Charms just because it's good against green. Draws cards just like Vanishing Versus. Uh, we have two Bank Busters as a way to draw cards through the grindy matchups. 25 lands, pretty stock for a mid-range deck. Sideboard-wise, we have two Duresses for the control matchup and combo matchups. Two Ray of Enfeeblements for Model White and Grease Fang. Two Damping Spheres for the Lotus Field matchup. Two Jamoka's Commands uh, as a way to fight through Rakdos mid-range because we want to be able to fight the 2-2 and make them sect. Fable, because that's really the only card that they have that actually can, you know, make them compete with us. Um, outside of Shielder, of course, but you know, the card advantage and card quality that it provides is something that we lack. So getting that out of the way and not having to two for one ourselves to do it is pretty good. Uh, we have two Rest in Peace for the Grease Fang matchup. One go, go Blank, also for Grease Fang slash Phoenix. Both of those are for that matchup. Three Extinction Events because, I mean, they're also decent against Phoenix and Mono Green just because they do Exile. And it also helps against Aggro. So I really like Extinction Event for the Wrath choice. And of course, since we're playing everything that has one pip value of a color, we get Jengatha, which is the real reason the advantage you get for playing Seed Rhino, right? So if there is another like decent four drop that is you know, able, uh, capable of also still playing Jengatha, let me know down in the comment section because I definitely would be interested in, in uh, exploring that more. If there is a different color combination, I would be interested in Jun probably and uh, Teamer. So those will be the other color combinations I would be interested in. But the problem with the Teamer mid-range is used on black, which has the best stuff in the format. So you can't really do that. So it has to be a green, a black. So it has to be Jun. <laughs> so let me know down in the comment section if there's any cards you would consider for this list or for a different mid-range style deck that also includes green. So, no further ado, let's see the deck in action. All right, so I think I'm gonna Shrine, Untapped, Thoughtseize. I think I take Chariot. His hand is kind of slow, to be, to be frank. Plays a Gorge, passes. So I think I play the Pathway on green, and I think I'm going to play Voice and Pass. Now he's going to stomp Sorcery Speed. This means we get to attack. Temple Garden taps. I think I'm going to apply Pressure here and play a Dread Knight and get Frisky too. I mean, you can't go wrong with Abzan Midrange, right? 
Like I said, if you guys join, make sure you let me know. I mean, we're playing the best deck in Pioneer, so pathway on green. Okay, what are you going to do? Giant, Stormseeker, Ooze. Eat my voice and passes. Shrine. So we play Farmland. Uh, we'll go ahead and Dread Whispers. Play another Dread Knight and then just smash for six. Next turn, we can play Banky, play a tap land, draw. Yeah, I mean, all we know he has a Stormseeker. There's the Stormseeker. Gonna give it haste. Are you gonna go on the aggressive? I'm gonna say, I don't think you can afford to. Passes. Another land. That's something. So we'll play Banky. I could get Jeff in hand. Is that better than just drawing a card? I think I want to draw. That'll tell me if I, like, if I get draw a push. That's pretty sick. So we'll Tomb, untapped. Fatal push the ooze. Go to combat and attack. He can trade, but that's not going to do a lot for him. Goes to seven. Pass the turn. Is Abzan midrange just like a big aggressive midrange deck? Are we stomping better than the stompy deck? I want to know. Because it feels like it. Are you going to play Bone Crusher? Nope. Beast within. Are we love struck Beast? That's fine. Another land. So start off, we'll go ahead and Dread Whispers. But Seiju. Draw. We're getting flooded. <laughs> right now we have all of the lands that don't ETB untapped unless we take damage. And I don't really want to attack into a beast right here. So I might just hive and pass. Stomps the token. Anybody can't attack. Abrupt decay. Okay. I mean, that is a card if I've ever seen one. So get rid of the love struck beast. We go ahead and play the dread knight and go for lethal. What do you got to say? Go to combat. Got it. Uh, duress might be okay. Boats are a problem. So I think I'm going to cut an abrupt decay. Maybe it's just a voice and run it like that. Play the Seiju in a Mystic. Passes. Godless Shrine. Play the Shrine tapped. Go. Got uh, Stomping Grounds. Untapped. Makes a token. Uh, this looks like, okay, Ooze. Seems fine. Vanishing Verse. Play the, oh my god, that was a... That was a punt. Yeah, because he's probably not going to attack with the elf. Plays a love struck beast. Passes. Fatal push. Okay. So I godless shrine. Verse the beast. And pass. Carplusion forest. Watch him drop chariot. Yep. That's like the most problematic card. All right. Fatal push. Hits me to 14. Okay, we drew the green source. That's good. I think I have to pass and just charm. So before combat, we need to kill it. Get rid of it. A second chariot. That's not great. Hits me for one. So we save some life. I think I dread whispers. Get a knight down. Pass. Pathway on red. For sure. Yeah, pretty sure that just beats me. Okay. Lucky enough, we have vanishing verse for this. Is there world where I want EE? -E? Yeah, hit the tokens. That, that definitely could work. Yeah, so charm probably out. I think I run it like that. That's fine. We start with a triumphant pass. Mystic passes. Put that on white. I think I burst a mystic and pass. Stomping grounds. Uh, Lana War. So I don't think I cr I use Dread Whispers. I think I just Dread Knight. I think I duress. Don't hurt me. Okay, there's the stomping grounds. Tapped. Oh, okay. So it plays the Love Struck Beast. So we're here to play Siege Rhino. So we will. And pass. We drew another four. Forest, so he stomps, but plays a Bone Crusher. Attacks, sure. We draw a land, so we go ahead and Dread Whispers. Cast that said Dread Whispers. So I think that means I Thought Seize. I cannot have Hazard hit the board, and I just pass. Plays a Carplusion Forest. Goes to combat. How are you attacking? And say, I will double block. So white, green, Voice Resurgence. Okay, pick up that girl. Pass. Mountain. Play the Marsh. Play Jengatha and pass. Plays another Pathway. Is this a Chrome? Oh, puts it its own Jeff. Plays her, their own Jeff. Passes. We draw another land. Play it tapped, I guess. Duress. Play Huntman. Take the Huntman's. I think I just pass. We're both at 15. Play the Misery Shadow. Actually, I think I'm going to start. Yeah, I think I'm going to attack until the end of your next turn. Yep. So that turns on my push. And I get to draw a card. Okay, so now we get to push the beast and play the Dreadnought again. And pass. An elf. I wouldn't mind another Triumph to cycle. Okay, goes to combat. Attack with Shadow and Dreadnought. So that blocks. Do you block here? Does. 
it is so nice being able to just cast this thing and suicide it, more or less. <laughs> Play a banky. Cancel. Draw. Pass. Besejus. I guess a shrine tapped. Plays a lair. Passes. Sunslayer. That is a card. Play the Sunslayer. Play a tomb. Go to combat. Attack. Attack. Threat. So this is a swing with Jeff too. We need to close this game out before he draws anything of importance. So there's the exchange. There's a chomp. Takes three. Okay. And pass. We just gotta, so we just gotta keep applying pressure here. Pass it. Another land. Thoughtseize. What do you have? Bakasan. Okay. Ten. Smash. Okay. Makes two one ones. I'm assuming you double block. You chomp and chomp. So you pass. Is this a chariot? That's two more blockers. Attack, attack. Chomps. Okay. Forces me to pay into the shadow and pass. Sweet. Drew a gorge and passes. I. So I think I go to combat and continue tacking out with the two of them. Blocks and blocks. All right. That resolves. And we pass. Hunt me. And passes. So I think I go to combat. Attack, 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 and attack. Turns on the lair. And we push that thing. We blocks there. Pump, pump. Hunt man's redemption. I think it's correct. And we just pass. Mutavolt. That's not gonna save you. Goob set up. 1-0. Oh. Getting to the next. Uh, I think I lead off with a hive and thought see. See what's going on. Take like the poor. Lair. Shrine. Play the marsh. So I could banky this turn. Play Glisten next. I think that's right. Attack for four. I kind of I kind of have to be aggressive with this hand. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to get underneath it and fa uh, fast enough. So he plays a Sanctum Scrying. Gets a stage. So we knew he just he drew the sanctum. So we play shrine. We play glissa. We accrue and attack. Play a field sack too, but he has nothing. Oh, discontinue. Okay, that is a good top deck for him. So we play shrine. Play the rhino. We crew and attack. We draw and pass cycles. That's fine. So it looks like he's passing, which is good. Vanishing verse. So we only have one card we can cast, which is Dread Knight, and we crew. So it doesn't matter what he ought to war us, he loses. Got it! Ah, oh, Abzan Charm, Fatal Push, Abrupt Decay. These are all cards that are very mid. We went to rest. We went Damping Sphere. Is Rest in Peace worth anything? So that might be worth it. Should be Charm. It does draw cards, so I can maybe find more discard. Why not like that? Thanked him. Passes. Another Rhino. We play Tomb Tapped. You. Scrying. Untapped. Play the Voice. Pass. Temple. So play the Marsh. Go to Combat. Attack. Lead off with a Thought Seize. Impulses. We get a token. That's helpful. <laughs> I think it's Vizier. And then we play Damping Sphere. And say Go. <laughs> Stage. To make a copy of Tomb. I think the opponent has finally given up. Plays Lotus Field. Sacks two. We Godless Rhine. We play Siege Rhino. And we get Frisky for five. Plays another stage. That's what he drew. Passes. Just to double check, we will play a Overgrown Tomb. Thought Seize. Take the strings. And yeah. Just because we're here to play Siege Rhino. Oh, never mind. We can't. We can't. Did not happen, folks. <laughs> And we just attack and pass. Got it. Two and oh. Getting in the next. So we go ahead and push. Woof. So we go ahead and Temple Garden. Verse it. Pass. Archon of Emeria. I'm assuming his deck is built for voice. So we'll play it. Play a Sanitarium. Sanctum. Goo. All right. Brush land on the top. Gets frisky. Nope. Play a Voice of Resurgence number two. And pass. Mystic. Puts two counters across two creatures. Hits me. Take it. Swamp. The boy's back in town, guys. Siege Rhino. Pass. So he reveals the top card. That's a top deck. Eats my Siege Rhino. Take it. Play Dread Knight. Done on green, I guess. Pass. Brutal Cathar. Eats my Dread Knight. Goes to combat. Attacks. I should have got Jeff. Hindsight 2022. Thought Seize. Take that bodyguard. Pass. Here comes, oh, the lair. Goes to combat. This is six in the air. Yeah, I can't beat that. So charm out for sure, right? We definitely bring in EE. -E. We could bring in Ray. Maybe I cut Thought Seize, go to rest, 
two decay. I don't like that. So I think I tomb, duress, take okay, Coco, pass, temple garden, elf. So this should go in black. Do I want to dread whispers? I think so. Play the tap land. There's a pack leader. Passes. So I think I play Triome. Play Dread Knight. Go. So I want to shadow and pass. Leave up verse. Oh my god, he whiffs. Heart's Desire. Love Struck Beast. Elf. That's right, opponent. Vomit your hand, please. Goes to combat. Passes. So now we verse the werewolf pack leader. E E odd. Mac that face. Got game two. Duress is worse than thought. Sees. Actually, Abrupt Decay is probably still better than that. I don't like that. Plays a Brush Lamp. Passes. I think I play the Sanctum Go. Planes. Passes. Verse. Overgrown 2. Untapped. Voice. Go. Elf. Passes. So I think I Glissa here. Attack. And pass. Skyclave Appetizers for the Glissa. Take one. I think I just pass. A Johnny. All right. Goes to combat attacks so i think i abrupt decay the skyclave and trade so that means i think i just banky go to combat kill the ajani and pass brush land coco two archons ee -E, odd attack hit ya werewolf pack leader werewolf pack leader passes thought scene cable's reconstruction all right we'll go ahead and push verse or hit ya there's the faith. Play the siege rhino. And we crew. Smack you for six. Pass. Coco. Skyclave. That answers the rhino. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's like the greatest way to win. Close out that game. Siege rhino for the win. Four and one. Awesome. Get into the wrap up. That right, was... So what did we learn this week about this deck? Overall, we went four and one with the deck. Pretty good record. Overall, I'm pretty convinced that this deck has some serious legs. The one matchup we lost to was Control. Our removal was pretty pathetic in that matchup. We do have a lot of it, so to deal with that matchup, I do recommend either which version you pick. I have both of these lists. They will be in the description. So this version and the one that we played on stream. So if you pick which one you like the most, but either one, which one you pick, I do recommend swapping out one of abrupt decay for a vanishing vert i mean uh a shielded edict so just so we have a planeswalker answer for the wandering emperor to fairy whatever it is like we can't let them get too much card advantage on us the other things that of course i changed in this list is someone in well during the stream uh we discussed and uh yeah we th think maybe this could be a decent list for the Huntman's Redemption. So we cut a couple copies of Sunslayer. I do know that it's decent against green. Uh, it does hit on the enchantments that are relevant. And it kills almost everything. So it does get through. But I do wonder if this could be a decent uh, co color combination for Huntman's Redemption. It does come down. We could sack the Dread Knight, which is quite powerful. So we can keep drawing cards, turning through our deck, finding the better quality cards. We get to sack something, get our one of Sunslayer, get our one of Anafenza. Maybe we just cut the Anafenza for the the other Sunslayer. So we're two and three, which could be pretty decent. But someone also in the live stream recommended they have a love for Anafenza. So I'm not going to say no. Like, I, I kind of want to play with it myself. But And of course, I cut one Siege Rhino for Athalia and the Gitrog Monster. Only just because... Sometimes you want card advantage, and it's kind of nice to be able to sack something like the Dread Knight and tutor the Thalia, because if it's relevant, it will be relevant. So that's pretty powerful, and First Strike and Death Touch is relatively a powerful effect. And like I said, you get to potentially just sack your lands as you and just keep drawing through your deck. You can definitely lose a help against the control matchup because we did just kind of draw lands and that's about it so that is something i i, I think i want to try i did end up moving one bank buster to the board uh it can be relatively clunky in certain matchups right so if you want to face aggro like it's not great um so i think one and one on the board seems pretty reasonable and i ended up cutting the um the uh Dramoka's command, just because we never brought them in 
Like, there was never a matchup where, like, you know what? I want that card. I thought, I'll cut that, move a Bank Buster in the board, and then I add another Shielders Edict against Control, right? Because we still want removal, but we just want good removal for that matchup. So I think that really helps bridge that matchup. So maybe we can get that 5-0 record and really powerhouse through it. But those changes I think you could universally do, no matter which deck you pick up. Uh, if you just did that alone, right? You took out the Dermo two Dermocus commands, put a Bank Buster and an Edict in your sideboard, and then, of course, you just uh, take out one Abrupt Decay for an Edict. And then, of course, you could take out the Bank Buster, uh, keep, and then basically add a uh, Huntman, Huntman's Redemption, and then cut a Glissa for a Huntman's Redemption. That's also a way you can go about it. Uh, so, however you think. I, but I, I po posted both of these lists down in the description. So you can pick which one you prefer. Um, so they're both, you know, maybe you see some things in some decks and not the other that you kind of want to add to, uh, to make your deck a little bit better. But I think Abzan Midrange, like I said, is definitely going to be continuing on my channel. So if you're a fan of this color combination, make sure you subscribe and don't miss out. Just due to, like I said, this is one of my, like, nine or ten decks that I'm going to be playing on the regular. Uh, just so I am a little bit more expert in it. And I can get better performances with the deck. Because I think this deck is kind of awesome. So until next time. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.